Here is another video one of our viewers requested. They wanted to know what a fire cut is when dealing with a brick building. And basically what it is would be a cut at the top of the joist to allow the joist during a fire to fall out without pulling the rest of the brick building down. And this was a common problem years ago. So if you could just imagine a brick building with a roof along with a second story floor where the contents of the building are on fire, either the floor, underneath the floor, or on the second level. It's burning the roof, the roof collapses, then the floor collapses and finishes the job, or at least damages another section of the building. So a long time ago, the joists were built into the brick walls. And most of the time, they would be nice and tight, maybe filled with mortar between the wood and the bricks to prevent the joist from moving without any concerns about a fire. So the fire is going to burn a section of the joist or a section of the floor. And then when it starts to fall, it's going to raise the brick or raise a section of the brick. So it might not happen exactly how I have it drawn here. And the building might not be built the same way as this building is here. You could have a wall that is wider or shorter in width. And the width of that wall could play an important role in whether or not you're going to be dealing with a lot of damage if something like this happened. And of course, another example, if what I'm talking about isn't making sense or you're having a difficult time wrapping your mind around how this could actually create the damage. And with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at what might be required if you were building something like this years ago. This right here is probably not going to be an approved building method today, however it was years ago. So what they're basically asking for with a fire cut situation will be to leave a gap on each side of the joist and if possible, a gap on the top. So we're going to have a slotted groove in the wall the depth of that slot will be determined by the builders. Your joist only require an inch and a half of depth to sit on a framing plate. So the depth of something like this might be shorter or smaller, depending upon the thickness of your wall. And in our example here, I just went back the depth of one brick because we're using two bricks to create the width of this wall. And I'm not really sure if the area can be filled between the joist and the bricks suggesting again that this might not be the best way to build something like this. So here's our fire cut and I couldn't find any specifications to provide you with the exact angle. However, the angle will need to be enough so that when the joist starts to pull away from the wall during a fire that it won't create any structural problems for the brick. And hopefully this makes sense. And by now you should have a pretty good idea what a fire cut is in a floor joist for a masonry or brick building.